All right, we're recording. Okay. All right. Uh, welcome, everybody, to the uh, Chaos Evolution Working Group meeting on November 18th, Wednesday, November 18th, 2020. I uh, hope everybody's doing all right today. Uh, we've got a couple of things that we can talk about today, some stuff from last week. Um, primarily working on getting some new metrics released, uh, specifically uh, working on some stuff. Um, I think last week we worked, we worked on some stuff related to branch lifecycle, as well as uh, talking about some stuff about change requests um, and talking about some of the language around those. Um, yeah, I figured we can just kind of continue maybe working through some of those metrics uh, and see where that takes us. That sounds good with you guys. Yep. Sounds good. Cool. Uh, let me pull up the, the sheet. For some reason, Google is very slow today. It's just not. Yes. Okay. Glad that's not just me. I totally agree. It took me like five or six tries to load the the minutes before the the call. It was very weird. I anyway. think it's because of it's getting bigger and bigger, and that is the right move. <laughs> yeah, move the stuff in the archive, and but we are yeah. interested. See, the Google is right now loading 41 pages. It is still continuously going on. Yeah, that's a very good point. It's probably, we have all of the Google Docs, we have all of the notes in the repository already. So maybe it would be pertinent to kind of clear out the ongoing minutes since it's all documented and we can start fresh, but we can worry about that another time. Okay. Um, okay, so would you guys like me to share my screen? Would that be useful? Yeah, that's fine. All right. Gosh, the control bar is different when you're a host. <laughs> I'm not used to it. All right. Can you guys see this? Yep. Yes. Uh, cool. Awesome. So I think the ones that we talked about last time, if I pull up the millions. Um, so, okay, so it's not, it wasn't on the, the agenda that we talked about. Um, I know that we discussed uh, this specific change request issue mapping. I actually think, isn't this, uh, wait, this might be the issue that we talked about. Oh yes, this is. So this issue, um, which I believe, yeah, King opened, uh, talks about uh, mappings of issues in PRs um, to each other and just what that might entail. And we talked a little bit about it. Um, we added it as a code development efficiency metric. Um, that's one thing that we could work on. That's one metric. Uh, there's also a bunch of these that are in considering. Um, some of these are more recent than others. I think some of these actually did get moved. Uh, but specifically, I believe um branch life cycle is some of the new ones and then i think some of the change requests we'd also talked about um we could just work on one of these metrics and see if there's any that we um does anybody have any particular thoughts on which one we should work on anything that works or should we just come Oh, it says my internet connection is unstable. Can you guys still hear me? Yes, a little bit dropping, but. Yeah, it says my connection's not very good right now. That's unfortunate. Um, hmm. Maybe it's because I'm sharing too. Oh, Google's not liking that. Um, sorry, give me just a second. I feel like there were other ones that were on here that we added, but I don't remember what they were. Vina, do you remember? No, uh, let me take a look at it. I feel like there was something that we, I feel like there was something that we started. Yes. 
it was uh, I was looking in the wrong tab. Sorry, my bad. Mm. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, uh, no. Can we put the shirt open version? see last eight. I think last time we added this change request iteration. Which one? The uh, code develop under focus area code development activity change request iteration. That's that... right. That is what we added. Let's see if we added anything to this. Is no. that, huh. I feel like there's something else very similar that the common group is working on um, with regard yeah. to, were, Vinod, uh, were you in that conversation? Yes, I think that Daniel proposed that uh, in between cycle release, like, okay, one uh, pull request and reviews within that. So that cycle of that iteration, I think it's, it's similar to that. Yeah, I'm not sure how we're defining iteration in this context, but um, yeah. Is it under, do they have it under their um, tab? What, uh, which one did you say it was? It's in the common that was. Uh, or is it just a discussion? Is it not like a metric? No, it oh, was the. Yeah, it's being developed. Um, okay. So it's time that. between review cycle, I guess. Time between iterations? Iterations, yes. That's yes. The one. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. I haven't seen this one yet. There's, there was quite a lot of discussion about what yeah. that means, what the iteration means. So that's what, <laughs> that's what we landed on for, like... <laughs> I like think the, from uh, instead of iteration, we landed to the review cycles, right? That's what I'm recalling. Yes, yes, yes. The first discussion, what are you? Cycles, each review cycles, a mix of automated actions, which is yeah. assessing security submission. Okay. So, but so, that was within one pull request, I recall. Like, you make a pull request, and how many iterations it takes to complete the pull request and get it merged or like declined or whatever the state be. Mm -hmm. And yes, in the time between, like, how long does it take in between, um, you know, each response, I think. Mm -hmm. So, that sounds very similar to what we we're trying to do. With, I uh, would agree with that. Um, for some reason, I think the metric, the document that it, it links to, change request iteration. And that also came up under discussion. Should we move this to the common or keep it in the common or move it to the evolution? Hmm. You know, generally we've moved things from evolution in to Over common, to common. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah which it seems to be probably the more common use case just given that but but in this case common, i felt like this is more of an evolution people. yeah um that's kind of what i was thinking i mean it really depends on the specific implementation of the metric one specific implementation but like the how we implement like the description and how we choose to define it. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe this is, hmm. I mean, as I feel like with a lot of things in common, if you wanted to, you could stick it in a working group and argue that it fits, but it would be better if it served in common. I feel like this is a case where you could pretty easily argue that it would belong in either common or evolution, but I feel like it might make more sense in evolution because it's specifically because it's talking about review cycles and yep. the time between them. Like, I guess I'm wondering how this is, like, why did you guys feel this belonged in common? I'm just curious. It's just the fact that that's where the discussion came up. 
I think so. Yeah. I don't, I don't know that there have been a lot of discussions around the shared use of it um, across working groups. Like, I'm not really sure how this fits in with like diversity inclusion, for instance, or um, even risk. So maybe it does make more sense in, in evolution. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I was thinking. Like I was trying to think about from a risk, how, oh yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry, from a risk perspective, I can see a, like some connection, but not that direct connection. But from mm -hmm. other working groups, I don't see a direct connection to this. Yeah, that's just what I was about to say, Vinod. I couldn't agree more. Um, yeah. So, do, do we want to like put a note, a uh, comment at the very top, and um, the next comment, either Vinod or I, or yeah. Sean, if he comes back, we can bring it up um, and just kind of officially hand it off, if you want. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, pardon me. I'll put a note <laughs> in the next agenda yeah. for the com for the next comment. I'll put it. Right. Okay. That sounds. I mean, yeah, I'm sure other people could find this useful, but it feels really kind of specific to evolution. And I'm maybe there's just something obvious, a question, a question you can answer for other working groups with this. But that sounds good. Thank you, guys. Huh. And I th this will probably, I mean, this will basically be, let's not use comments. The <laughs> document name is wrong. I think that'll basically cover change request iteration. I mean, we might want to we might tweak it a little bit, but this is is what I was thinking by uh, change request iteration was basically what this describes. Um, so that'll be good. That'll be that'll be nice if uh, if you get if Common decides to let us have it. <laughs> uh, We've given them our finished metrics before. Uh, Maybe it would be nice to have some finished metrics with them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, okay. So should we work on a different one then? I still don't feel like there was one that we... So uh, in the so last good. meeting, I'm looking at metrics to work for the next release is branch life cycle. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. So in the agenda, it's saying, uh, Last meeting agenda oh, yeah. metric to yeah this one. Yep, exactly the one you have selected. Yeah, I totally missed that. Oh, that's right. I think we oh yeah, we talked about this a month ago as well. Um let me see if did let me pull up the where do we put that? Did that get onto? Yes, it did. I need access. Let hmm. me see if I have access. GitHub issue 368. Why do you need access? Oh, it's not get it. It's the doc. Google Doc. It's the Google Doc. Oh. Yeah. Where is the link to that Google Doc? Yeah, uh, it's on line 25 of the evolution. Uh, okay, evolution, let, me, let me at line 25 evolution. Oh, this one. Oh, it's asking for the access. Who has created this? I have no clue. Probably me... Sean. I'm back. Hi. Oh, Sean, Sean good we, uh, we need an access to a document you have created. Okay. It's, or we, it's, we think you created it. We don't know. Yeah. We, yeah. We can't answer that. Let's, um, okay. So it must be the spreadsheet. Yeah. Uh, it's the, yeah, it's on line 25 of the evolution tab, the branch lifecycle metric. When I click um, on it, it says you do not have access to this file. Well, that's pretty uh, dumb on my part. Um, I feel like we were working on it together during the last meeting i have posted the link sean in the chat <laughs> yep i found it um let's cool. see um share okay change to anyone with link okay can be um editor copy link done 
All right, now I'm going to go on the spreadsheet and I imagine I'm just going to paste a new link. Oops. I think I'm able to get in with the existing uh, link. You don't need to change. You just have changed the permission. Just, so it's working. Oh, oh, okay. It's All working. Right. It's working. All right. Okay. So sorry about that. Yeah, I've had the same yeah. contractor for 10 years and he's never been on time. Today he's on time. <laughs> one time um cool awesome so i think we were just about to kind of work on this metric a little bit uh, sounds good something we had in the notes is working on uh for this upcoming release yeah um so just collaboratively edit this one yeah yeah but uh i use suggesting mm -hmm. so you can see what i edit but uh i think we could probably <laughs> i mean there's no actual content in here right now yeah except for Get branch dash a will list all existing branches. I don't know if that's a good question. I'm apparently I typed per, no, per repository. There we go. Uh, I, I'm reading the issue notes to get the better idea mm -hmm. of this. Mm -hmm. Which issue? So it's uh, so issue 368. All right, it's, it's in the spreadsheet, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, contains a bit of where King uh, started that discussion okay. on them. Yeah. 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 List of those branches. So it seems like there are so many activities around the branches. Yep, I agree. I think I, la I like the second part of the question, uh, but I'm wondering if we want to do the first part. You can simply be purely because it's called branch lifecycle. And I think how a repository use branches is an interesting question that we can answer. Mm -hmm. But for this specific question, if we want to talk about lifecycle, maybe it would just make it more like, mm -hmm. or, you know, maybe we'll explicitly say, uh, how does yeah how does the project manage the life cycles of their branches or something like that maybe it's i don't want to say too literal <laughs> oops that's not the word i'm looking for uh, i i have proposed how projects manage their branches like i've written github or bitbucket but we can use as a platform independent um i think we should just say version control branches because it could be get it could, be, it could be Git, it could be GitHub, it could be Bitbucket, yeah. it could be any of those. Yeah, we, don't need, we don't even need to talk about platform because these are all very yeah, repository. Uh, all that's but in the I think there, it, Yeah, that is a good call out though, Vinod, is it probably would be pertinent to at least talk about maybe if there are differences in branch management yeah. among the tools like they provide different facilities so or they handle that differently. that can be part of implementation we can see like okay in github we see it in different way we but as a agnostic magic we have to think of all all of these uh, as inclusive yeah i agree completely i think that would be a good place for it oh, what do you mean? <laughs> so sorry no it's all right it's uh it's one of those times a year it sure is um I almost need an example metric to like remember what a metric reads like. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of thinking the same thing, Sean.
page not found. I'm just putting the idea. So the draft might be like, I don't know, not fair, but I'm just dumping the ideas. Heavy, heavy fingers when you, somebody does. <clears throat> Maybe me. I don't know. I think it is you, Bob. <laughs> uh, I'm not on my re regular keyboard, that's why. Uh -huh. Objective ease. I a little bit of a hard timing with typing this morning. Hey, I added a couple of um, articles at the bottom, uh, just as reference on like Git branching strategies. But if that doesn't super apply here, it feel free to. Apply. It super applies. That's so on the mark. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say just delete them if if like that's not helpful. But no, these are totally like way on the mark. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like so on the mark. I have to. I want to get. Like, I, you know, I have to like click at the very end of a link to make it a link. There we go. Ah, uh, yes. Smart. John, what do you mean by under objectives? The prime objectives relate to understanding the Branch creation, destruction, updating via change requests that are so change requests are, are change requests are our word for pull requests or merge requests on GitLab. And, right. Yeah. And I know. So okay. Uh, and and really, I think what the issue is getting at is the free. So some repositories use a strategy of creating a like a patch branch and then deleting that branch after a while. Like we, in Augur, we clean up patch branches after some time other repositories uh, have feature branches that are sustained over time and there are pull requests in both directions from like a central dev or main repository so i think it's that sort of understanding and describe the data needed to understand and describe that flow of code from which branches into which other branches and which branches are created and which branches disappear in a time period um, because some some projects don't actually do a lot of branch creation and destruction, and others do. Okay, is that I mean, any more that clear? Is, yeah, that that makes sense. I guess I guess I just change requests are specific to a hosted Git platform like GitHub or Bitbucket. Git doesn't have concept of change requests; it's only merges. So I guess I I think the all the things you describe, like looking at those in context of pull requests, branch lifecycles and Pick support requests is very important and very interesting. I think we should also explicitly call, call out, merges, like, merged. yeah, and like, and also say, you know, because it looks different on the command line when you just have get. It's right. like in a pull request, you can have assignees and you can have labels and you have discussions and you have project oh. boards and you can. It's like so much data together. it makes you giddy. Yeah. Yeah. But on git, you can't do that. And so it kind of changes. <laughs> the context of the metric. So I guess I just I was trying to understand if there was a specific reason you said change requests. So uh, maybe just trying to use merge language. operations of merge by a merge operations of any kind. And then parentheses, you know, local merges, change requests, 
something yeah. like that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, I wonder if that's really, I wonder if really the local merge requests are actually under the umbrella of what we're calling change requests more generally. I, I don't think uh, that they're not. I think that I think they're not purely okay. because there's it's it's a one person thing like most of the time yeah. it's like I'm just going to do this merge and I'm not I'm not doing this and looking for approval from somebody else right. to merge this right. in it's like I just want to do this I need right. to do this it's kind of how I view it okay um, but you know that might be I'm sure there are other ways I mean if I'm doing inner source and I don't want to pay for enterprise GitLab or enterprise GitHub. I might just be sharing a Git repository on a server mm -hmm. and having developers check things in and out on the command line. I don't, I think most people are buying enterprise GitHub and enterprise GitLab for mm -hmm. that nowadays, but I don't know if Elizabeth, if you have any more insights about that. Uh, I was just going to say, I think I, I'm kind of conflicted because uh, I totally get what you're saying, Carter, about it's just being one person. But in the same vein, like I still go through the same process. Like I still make my changes to a branch and then merge that into master or into main, not like just directly. You know what I mean? Like I still go through the same process as if there was another person, but yeah. that's just me. So I don't know I, if that counts or not, but I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm talking more about like when you do a merge on Git, you don't go through like just using Git. There's no whole rigmarole of opening the pull request and adding labels to it and opening it for discussion. Like you just do the merge. Cause I mean, I do the same thing. I'll merge between branches. So I'm just saying it's a different context when you don't, it's not, it's not a public operation when you're doing it out in GitHub or, or Bitbucket or where have you, um, as opposed to when you, do it out for where anybody would be able to see. I mean, they'll be able to see that you did it regardless because it's all version control. But um, I think the the gating aspect of the PR is what's most interesting to me about that distinction. It's like doing locally. Yeah, you can do whatever. Um, um, but so I guess from the question, the point of view of King's question, though, I think Elizabeth is like I would. I, I guess. I would still be interested in that information, like even if, even if it's, like I I do track that myself, and it is a signal of the kind of process that I'm following, even if I'm one developer. Um, like I don't think it's a big deal to include it as opposed to exclude it. Yeah, uh, that's where I like what? that. Do the, links, the local uh, change, like the local like change, local merges, like if I think that's part um, of this yeah. story. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not suggesting we exclude any of it. I just was okay. trying to clar clarify the, okay, right, the yeah. distinction and and just call it up. Okay, sorry. I, yeah, I think they're I think they're both very important. I completely agree. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> Elizabeth, I like both of your links. They are very yeah, specific. they're excellent links. Yeah, they are like right on exact for this yeah. particular kind of metric we are looking. Totally for. on the mark. Yeah. Yep. So I, I, I have to drop off now. I've added the description. It's not that perfect, but I tried to capture the theme we are trying to answer. So all right, no problem. The perfect is okay. the enemy of the good. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. okay. All right. See you See all. You all gonna, Thank you. Yeah. Thanks Bye. for having on. Bye. Me, who just waved when my camera is off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Totally cool. One of those days. Do you not? Are you? I, uh, I guess you. Uh, it doesn't matter. I yeah. I do have a camera. I just I woke up like, a little later than I was intending, and I haven't had a chance to look presentable today. <laughs> so it's no problem. Uh, yeah, it happens. Um. You said there's some more. I wanted to answer. Um, would we would we care about the naming of the branches? Yes, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> I think so. I think there's like a those are going to be like um, I don't know. There's like new. I don't know. Is the word mnemonic um, or the syntactic? They're sort of like I've observed like some common syntaxes are like dash dash patch, um, right? 
but other projects have their own more idiosyncratic syntaxes. So I think I think definitely the naming, you know, what the branches are named is a signal of something. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you'll see people who name it like <coughs> fix and then the PR issue number, which is like mm. great. That tells you exactly what this branch does. Um, I usually name yeah. it a, like a, a short version of what the PR does as well. But then mm -hmm. it kind of is is counterintuitive because they're they're always throwaway branches. So, yeah. but like, because now that they have a name, like, I wonder if I'm sending the wrong signal, like, oh, this is something to keep, you know, because usually uh -huh. if it's just like username, patch one, whatever, you know, it's like probably just a throwaway. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but like, so I wonder if I'm like, not, I I'm doing the opposite of what I want to do with those. I don't know. Mm -hmm. that's, a good, that's a good question. I had, I had actually never thought about it like that before, I guess, because I just make an I, I do the same thing. I'm, I, you know, usually like to make it a little bit of a more descriptive name than just the, the PR or issue number rather. Um, but I usually delete them pretty fast so that nobody else will see it and get attached to it. Um, that's actually a very interesting thought that naming it kind of not, it's, it's not like naming a child, but kind of. <laughs> Right, you're, like, you're you kind know, of giving it life, like an identity. Attached. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but I don't so. really want it to have an identity past the point of, you know, what we're doing right in the moment. So like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, want to, I, don't need to, I don't need that branch to live long and prosper. I need it to live short and stop creating noise in my life. <laughs> this is my son, hotfix patch one. <laughs> oh my God. There's an old like KCD um, joke about uh, delete, <laughs> delete from table or something. Maybe oh maybe yeah. Oh, little like little that. Bobby tables. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I love that comic. <laughs> yeah, it's a classic. I love it. Proves a good point. Um, I feel like there are more questions. I just realized that second um, reference that I posted was actually written by a friend of mine. I didn't even know it. So yay, Laura, nice. let's go. <laughs> it pays to have smart friends, I guess. <laughs> Look at that. All right, I, I went and added my flavor to the description that the nod did. What the? Uh, is there a way to preview all of these? Because this um, is, oh, yeah. hurts my eyes. How do you, there's <laughs> probably a way to do that. Let me um, view or tools, hang on. I think you just have to. Yeah, go up to um, go where it says editing. There's a little triangle right next to it. I think if there's a viewing option. Yeah. There you go. 
Uh, yeah, well, that didn't work. That was just, oh, because we didn't yeah. accept the. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. That would yeah. seem like it. Hang on. There's got to be. I mean, there's a way to do it in Microsoft Word. There must be a way to do it on Google Docs. Mm. Um, yeah. View mode. Uh, well, you could do Carter yeah, is, uh, I mean, I, make I a think copy you're, of the I, document I just, and accept all changes in it. Oh, I, I, I read it. I okay. just sucked up and it took me like three tries, but I got through it. Um, I mean, I, I like your changes, Sean. Um, yeah. I probably will have some to add myself as well, but I think your changes are good. Um, so description, are, okay, so we got that, no, we got formatted text in there. Just gonna accept my own change, deleting the template. Yeah. Also, I guess I've I've just been editing it directly. I haven't been using the suggestions. That's totally fine. I like to use suggestions just because I don't. I mean. Yeah. I, I have. Like, I've only been using. I've only been editing directly on things that are not. I mean, there's there wasn't any actual content in the part I was writing, so there was nothing for me to suggest and edit for. I guess. I think I just went super nerdy with implementation. So I think I might be worried. Um, sorry, we might be um, Mel get me for that. Just fine. Um, um, I think that the the section you just wrote can probably go under what I'm writing down in the data collection strategies. Oh, because okay. I feel like that's that's probably where that fits. Because I was thinking about the same thing, Sean. Yeah, so is, is did yeah. Um yeah, you're right. That I'm just looking at based on other metrics. Um oh, okay, yeah, you kind of type in the same thing actually. Haha. -ha. All right, I'll just paste what I typed and you can take it or leave it. I'm gonna accept yeah. my deletion I've, above. Oh, did that accept the? Uh, no, okay, good. <coughs> it dealt the. It dealt with the cut and the paste as separate acts. Is there a way to ask about or to find out, or do we care about um, if the if the project has this this process or policies documented somewhere? Like, does that relate to this at all? Is there a way to even I think, figure that out? Um, yeah, I think that would be relevant. Um, the question yeah. is, 
I like think probably, probably, uh, probably a contribution yeah. guide. Yeah, I was going to say the first place that I would check to look would be the if they have a contributing.md file in the root of the repository, I would check that and see if they say anything about how they do branches. I mean, that would be pretty difficult to parse, though, because you would have yeah. to like actually parse the meaning of the markdown that was written in it, because I doubt that they would be so nice as to say, Here's our branching style. Branching style colon. <laughs> Here it is. Um, like I know Augur for sure doesn't do that. We have a description of how we like to do branches and how we do things, but it certainly doesn't use any. It, it takes several page. It takes several sentences to do so. Um, I definitely think it could be done, but it would be hard to implement. But we don't have to worry about that right now. So I say. I mean, if there's a way to check on, even if it exists, like a yes or no, if, I, I don't know, if you could, would it, would it be problematic to parse that file and just look for, look for the word branch or? No, it wouldn't. I mean, like it's that. like, like just looking for keywords is pretty straightforward. And actually I was thinking like the way you, I might do it is I would, I would guess there are fairly standard versions of the contributing doc. Um, there's language that's common. I, I don't think people like reinvent that every single time they participate in a new project. <clears throat> so just a similarity score with other repositories might give you a pretty good clue of um, what the management style is. <clears throat> I put a note about that under implementation. It might belong where you're typing Carter. I'm trying to think of like, like some of the aggregators I think that I've seen before in earlier metrics aren't necessarily like where my head is like count is not an aggregator and the example I'm looking at. Um, uh, I guess aggregators and parameters. Um, so aggregators is like, uh, I'm thinking like, uh, can you guys hear me? Uh, mm, barely. Um, Okay, my connection is bad right now. Uh, yeah, you're right. Your is kind of crappy. Wow. Um, you must be in student apartments. I'll talk in the Google. Yeah, you're robotic. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> your roommate is streaming something. Carter, either I don't know if you can hear us. We. You broke up pretty bad there. That's it. I'm just going to. He's just going to do something. Yeah. I don't know what. <laughs> maybe restart Zoom. Maybe. It's hard to. Maybe. All right. Oh, darn it. I took off my. Okay. Yeah, so it's not always clear to me why, what the difference between a parameter and an aggregator is. I guess one is for input and one is for output, but like. Um, does does everybody else see two versions of me? Yeah, I see double Carter. It's like, it's like a double mint gum commercial for uh, Carter Landis. Well, uh, the Carter army Carter. grows. Yeah, it's an army of Carters. Yeah, I'm They're sorry, Carter. All robots. We cannot. We cannot. I am Carter. I am a robot. <laughs> I am your robot overlord. You need to sorry, work man. Like the voice, Carter. Yeah. The voice box. Yeah, it's it's sorry, dude. It's bad. Um, but we're almost at time. I don't think we're gonna have any productive voice conversation with you, Carter. And he's oh, gone. Now he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think I mean I think we've got a really good start on this metric, and yeah, we're near time. So uh, I'm good with calling it and coming back to this at the next meeting. Yeah, same. Because I've had enough meetings go over this week that uh, I'm cool with one like ending on time. <laughs> Carter, Get we're gonna end the meeting back. on time and take those three minutes back in our life. <laughs>
I'll see y'all later. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye. Bye.